In today's video, we will be taking you inside an abandoned mansion that was vacated by a Jewish family after a fire broke out inside the home. This abandoned mansion was built in 1981 and was custom designed with a sort of mix of medieval and gothic architectural styles. The large home had five bedrooms, five bathrooms, and measured at over 7,000 square feet. As you walked through the twin hand-carved wooden doors into the main entrance of the mansion, you noticed a large, gorgeous, sweeping staircase with a bedazzled brass chandelier hanging high above, serving as the centerpiece of the foyer. An interesting side note is that although the mansion was not lived in by the late Betty White, it does appear that the Golden Girl star did own the home for a period of time around the year 2000. It also looks as if several families had moved in and out of the massive home over its final years. The very last family to live in the enormous estate was a wealthy Jewish family whose belongings were incredibly all still left inside. The fire that forced the last family out of the home appeared to have started in the kitchen area and had quickly spread upstairs, damaging one of the bedrooms and the hallway. Luckily, the fire was extinguished before anybody was hurt and before it destroyed the entire estate. The best part of exploring this abandoned half-burnt residence was the beautiful interior design and how much of the family's belongings were actually left behind. This doorway actually has two gold columns coming down. Each side has one. That's really cool. This is the main living room. Incredible. Incredible, incredible living room. Look at this. All the furniture is badass. The living room itself was quite fascinating, with many of the family's things still set up, including both opulent furniture and lavish decor throughout. The dining room, bathrooms, and bedrooms also still had a bunch of the family's personal effects all left behind, as if they most likely had to leave in a hurry due to the raging fire. We can only guess as to why the family never returned for their prized possessions, but maybe they just assumed that everything was smoke and soot damaged. After the 2018 fire, the mansion was boarded up, locked up, and pretty much forgotten about as it still sits today. Not even sure what kind of animal that is. As of 2022, the custom built castle like home still sits abandoned, a mere shell of what it once was. Some more wine. Nice stone fruit basket. Sitting on the coffee table. Jewish newspapers from 1993. Look at the detail up there too. Around the entire living room has that molding and brass trim. Look at these columns though. There's another hat. I'm telling you these uh, Hasidics were all about their amazing hats. Grandfather clock over here. Wow, old, old, very old. So as you can see when you walk in this room, this is actually rope on the wall. And this is all padded. It's pretty cool. This room, with the padded and embroidered walls, must have been a den or maybe even an office. Two gold columns coming down. 
And you can see here on the close-up that the fireplace mantle is made of granite, wood, and plaster and is a very intricate design, hand-carved with very colorful details. frozen. This antique chair is actually in really good condition still. Probably get some money for this. Here's the blueprints of the home. Some amaretto. The hat there on the chair. It's like a portrait here, a black and white old portrait. Probably a brother and a sister there. Some nice artwork behind it. skylight too you can see it there it's got smoke damage though you can see the snow on it though and this is where the uh, major fire damage was most likely where it happened is the range This is like industrial style, crazy. Must have been making some good food up in here. Microwave. Love those wine bottles though. There's more down here. Let's get a look. I'm not a wino, so I don't really know much about it. <laughs> Definitely not that. Whatever. Refrigerator. Almost looks like it's built in. Oh God, I should have known. Gross. Some uh, Jewish soup there. So this was the game room. Foosball table. Ping pong table. Little air hockey over there. I'm not exactly sure what this is. Bob might know. I've never seen this game. Leave us a comment. Let us know what this is.
this old stereo system the speakers in the corners look how big a stereo system used to be tape of a concert family photos those are always sad to see see the skylights got damaged they had to board them up skylights right there the insulation is just like hanging from the fire This closet's still full of all the linens. As you can see, there's a lot of smoke damage. This is the side of the house that caught on fire. This whole bedroom is collapsed. You can see right down to the first floor. Really sad to see such a nice house catch on fire. And they just lost everything. All their clothes. This burnt dress. As you walk through here, it's just purses left, hats, all their clothing, shoes. Suede purse, some nice shoes. Some more purses. This is pretty cool. There's like this little treasure chest here. Some brand new heels just sitting in the box. Bathroom. 
at that. Even the bathroom mat is still here. You can see all the soot. You can see where the rug was. I think that soot line from the smoke damage. You can see on the walls and on the ceiling, all the smoke damage. Used to have some patterns on the tile. A floral pattern. You can hardly even see it. Everything. Everything's still left in the makeup cabinet. All that has smoke damage. There's another small bedroom. This side of the house is just really trashed. Nothing worth taking. Nothing worth taking photos of. It's inside one of the closets. Some jeans there. This bathroom's pretty wrecked, but you can see it used to be cool. The fire was right through there. Had a nice little elevated tub, hot tub up here. All tiled. Look at that. It's just filled with insulation now. Same type of um, wall pattern as the other bathroom with the floral tile. 19 air ride. She's got the curling iron, a flattener, straightener. Look at all that. She's got the crown. Vaseline. These hair clips in here. Assortment of hair clips. You can, you can see the smoke damage where stuff was sitting. Well, that'll take us to the end of the video but hopefully you enjoyed coming along with us inside this abandoned mansion. For more photographs of this place and our other locations, make sure you check out the website at AbandonCentral.com. And please subscribe to Abandon Central to get all of the latest videos. As always, your support is truly appreciated. Thank you.